At a machine like this, I have spent much of my life editing, or as I like to say, just cutting film. But long before these machines, shows were being made for the public. There was always communications by mechanical means. Show people would travel with presentations from the Middle East to Europe. In the 19th century, a very popular form of entertainment was a diorama. There were dioramas in every big city. An audience would be seated in front of a canvas that was rolled by. There were stories painted on this canvas and they were presented with sound effect and music. This, in my view, foreshadowed the future, which was cinema. Photography was invented in the first part of the 19th century in France by Nieps and Daguerre. Many people think it was painting that influenced photography, but I believe in a certain way it was the other way around. When a painter painted somebody, your aunt for example, she looked a little bit like your aunt if the painter was good. However, your aunt looked much better in a photograph because photography could reproduce likenesses much better. I believe because of photography, painters and artists had more freedom to experiment and to think ahead to Impressionism, Expressionism and other styles. One of the first people to make films using the principles of the persistence of vision was Thomas Alva Edison in America. He had already invented the phonograph and wanted to try his hand at the strange new invention. From his early experiments and with ideas borrowed from others, he developed the kinetoscope. It's this time one could only see his delightful little films as a peep show. The famous sequence of the kiss was considered at the time to be practically obscene and created a scandal. 